your Tricky TV. I'm Stephen Mulhern, and this is the show that makes everyone say... <coughs> the great thing is, some of the time, I'm going to show you how you can do it too. On today's Tricky TV, pop star Rachel Stevens lends me her expensive ring for a big trick. Big mistake. We set up a class as they take a school trip to the cinema for a wicked wind-up. And this is the table of death. A very scary escapology trick. Great. Doesn't look that good, does it, Keith? Oh. Are we joking? Yeah, of course we're joking. We've got a brilliant show for you today, we really do. Let's kick off with this one here. You can see the coin. OK, I'm going to try and make that vanish. Now, I'm not going to touch the coin from now on. What I am going to do is just wrap this plastic glass up in this napkin like that. Now, I'm going to cover the coin three times and then make it disappear. Here we go. Right. Once, twice, three times, and the coin... Oh, it hasn't gone. Never mind, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make the glass disappear. Look at that. It's completely vanished. It is such a cool trick. And if you would like to know how to do it, then stay watching, because I will show you. But first, let's see how it works on the crowds. One, two, three. I see the coin hasn't vanished, but the glass goes right through the table like that. How did you do that? Whoa! Find out how to do this trick later on in the show and become part of the secret circle. Trick. Are you ready for this? I am standing beside the number one most beautiful woman in Britain. Seriously, <laughs> yes, it's Rachel Stephen. How are you doing? I'm all right, good. How are you? I'm very good, thank you very good. much. Do you keep in contact with Yes Club a lot? Um, okay, not for a while. I haven't seen them for a while, but right. um, I've heard they're well. Cool. Yeah. It's going very well for you, though, isn't it? It is, really well. The second album's out, yeah, yeah. it's been busy, it's good. Super. Well, listen, yep. the reason I wanted you on Tricky TV yes. is um, I, I have been practicing. As they told yeah, you. Yeah. Let me let me say, I've been practicing a new trick. Yeah, I'm going to try yeah. it out. Top magician. First time. Yeah. Okay, here we go. But I need to use your ring. Oh, do you? Yes. Okay, but be very careful with it. Okay. Is it expensive? Yes. Is it? It's, it was a present. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> lovely stuff. Just I'm thinking nervous. about it. I don't know whether that one work. Have you got another what? one? What are you doing? Have you got another one? Where did you throw it? Why did you throw you my ring? That is really expensive. <laughs> you don't need Where to panic. It? It's fine. Are you sure? I promise. Okay. So look, look, look. I'll let you know the secret. This is great. You can try this at home. What you do is I actually switched your ring for a 20p coin. Oh. So your ring is still. Okay. Where is it? I'm actually not messing around. Come over this side. I'm being serious. No, you're not. Are you joking? Guys, can you help us out? I'm not joking. Okay, can we stop filming a minute? I was meant to throw the 20. Really? This is like a gold ring. Gold. Yeah. Rachel now believes I've actually thrown her ring away by accident. But this is all part of the trick, and the tricky crew, they're all in on it. Are you serious? You've lost I'm my being ring? dead serious. I can't believe it's supposed to stop filming, don't worry. I don't believe him, I think that he's joking. I'm being serious. I think you're joking. I'm telling you now. Um, look, I'll tell you what we can do. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, he thinks that he's lost my ring. He's trying to tell me that he's lost my ring. <laughs> you see the and 20 he's trying K. to get me to search for it everywhere <laughs> to make a fool out of me. I know. He's well, game. All right. do you know something? Well, this I think you're going to be stunned at. Take the 20p yes. because these machines over here. Can I take this? To yes, you can. Sweets? Yes, come over this side. <laughs> Pop it in this machine here because oh, yeah. these actually give rings that are very similar no. to yours. Really? They do, yeah. yeah it's brilliant. No one will know the difference. Come on. Pop it in. Right, now hold your hand underneath there. I don't want to touch it. You lift it up. That's it. I don't want to touch it. And you'll see. Can you take that out? Whatever's in there. Can it? Oh. <laughs> now wait there. Can you see what's inside there? Oh my god. <laughs> but look. Before you even open it, let me just show you at home. Can you see this? Look. There is a That's ring inside ring. there, and it's all sealed. Uh, can you open it up? Just prize it open. It's it. <laughs> look. It's all. See? It's all sealed. It's plastic. It's all sealed. You've got to crack it open. That's it. Yeah, got it. Got there it. There we go. And just tell me now, please. Oh is, my God! <laughs> is that your that's ring? That's my ring. That, that is, is amazing. Ring. And that's a cool trick. Genius. Rachel Stevens on Tricky TV, and I'm a genius. Thank you. Do you hear that? Tricky TV.
Everybody loves a trip to the cinema, complete with a big box of popcorn and a drink. Unless, of course, you've entered the tricky cinema where everything goes wrong. Now, here's the deal. We've invited a group of young people and they think they're going to be watching a film called The Story of the Nile, all about ancient Egypt. <laughs> what they don't realise is we've rigged the foyer with a whole host of surprises to cause total and utter mayhem. Now, I'll be here keeping an eye on everything they do and generally adding to the chaos. But first, I need to get into disguise. So it's down to the skills of the tricky TV makeup maestro to turn me into Spike, our ever so slightly geeky cinema usher. The manager's not here today, so I hope it all goes all right, cos I'm, I'm in charge. This way, help yourself to sweets. Where is that pick and mix? The pick and mix is totally rigged. We've got scoops that are too big and scoops that are too small. It got <laughs> to We've got scoops that are designed to break as soon as they touch them. You must use the scoops. Oh, what have you done there? <laughs> and all the chains? Well, they're too short, so they can't get any sweets anyway. You've got to use the scoops. There's only one way. It's like a little puzzle. And you're not allowed to use your hands. You're not allowed to do that. If you use your hands, then I'm going to get in trouble. What are you doing? Just, you might have been to the toilet or, you know, wiped your bum or something. <laughs> the popcorn holds a tricky surprise too. Just watch what happens. Let me have a look. It seems all right. Oh! Right. Have you got enough there for all three of you? No? I don't like popcorn. You don't like the pot? That's a bonus. Give it one more go. And if it happens this time, then we'll have to, we'll have to all take cover. You tell me when to shut it if it happens. You go, shut it. Make sure you... Just make sure you shout out loud, cos it's quite hard to hear. And look away as well. I should have used this here. I can't hear a thing in this one. Finally, our cinema goers can enter the screening, but first they had to pass the model of a mummy. It's real. No, it's like a rubber prosthetic sort of thing. Right, now let me give you a ticket. <laughs> Here's the best of the rest. Oh, no! Oh, what's... Oh, what's no! Oh, no! This is crazy. You're crazy? You're crazy? <laughs> 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 Look at this, a door in the middle of nowhere. Now, you can see through the door. Hello. <laughs> and you can see all around the door. So the big question is, if you can see through the door and all around the door, then where does this come from? Hey, a real fridge. I promise it is real. And hopefully, yeah, should have my favorite drink in there. There you go. I'm going to tell you how we did this brilliant illusion in just a couple of minutes. Cheers. Also coming up in Beat the Cheat, the crowd is fooled by the chewing gum trick, but you needn't be. Plus, you can join the secret circle and find out how to make a glass vanish. And I try a death-defying trick with the treacherous table of death in today's Big Trick. Trick it. Yes, you are watching Tricky TV, and just a moment ago, you may remember, we made this real fridge appear from nowhere. Do you want to know how it's done and how you could do it at home? Well, you can if you've got a door in the middle of nowhere, a big fridge, and a 20-ton digger. Here's what happened. Phil, let's reset the trick. 
Here we go. Phil is going to take the fridge up. So the fridge started above the door frame. Then, as soon as I shut the door, Phil lowered the fridge into place. Now, all I had to do was listen out to when the fridge hit the base. And when it did, I just opened the door and it was an amazing trick. Simple as that. You can see through the door, where does this come from? Hey! So, we've just had a fridge appear using a 20-ton digger. It's not the usual way you get your kitchen appliances delivered, is it? Now I've just got to try and work out how to plug it in. Every day, somewhere in the world, there is a cheat out on the street trying to trick you out of your money. Well, their dodgy antics are now going to be revealed so that you can beat the cheat. OK, it's time to beat the cheat. All you've got to do is keep your eye on a stick of gum, OK? The stick of gum, I'm going to place it inside one of my hands. And all you've got to do is try and guess which hand it is in. Uh, let's go for... Oh, you want to go. OK, which hand is it in? Do you want to change your mind? That one. Definitely this one. No, it's inside this one. Oh. Yes, oh, yes, oh, no, sorry. OK, which hand is it in? This one. You sure? Yes, it is, it is. Is it? No, it isn't. It's inside this one. Let's have another go. Um, pick which one. Which hand is it in? This hand. No, it's not. It's inside oh. this one. I'll show you again. Look, keep your eye on the chewing gum. That's all you've got to do. No matter how much they try, they are never, ever, ever going to get it right. Because one thing they don't know is it has got an extra stick of gum just there. So, here is what the cheat does. He puts both hands behind his back and takes out the extra piece of chewing gum. So now he's got a piece of chewing gum in both hands. He brings his hands out and he says to the crowd, which hand has the chewing gum in? Now, if they say this hand, he says, no, sorry, it's inside this one. And if they say this one, then he says, no, sorry, it's inside this one. So there you go. You can never, ever win with this. And now you know the secret. When you see it, you will be able to beat the cheat and make the cheat eat his words and his gum. On, you saw me do the vanishing glass trick. <laughs> this trick always makes people go crazy, and I'm now going to show you how to do it. First thing to do is say to your friends, OK, look, I'm going to make this coin disappear. You place the coin onto the table, then you take a napkin and you place this over a plastic glass like that. Say to your friends, OK, keep your eye on the coin. It's going to disappear after the count of three. One, two, three. And you say, oh, the coin hasn't vanished. And here's when you do a tricky move. Because as your friends are concentrating on the coin, if you come around the side, Keith, I'll show you what happens. Look, they, they're looking at the coin, and you drop the glass into your lap. And the great thing is the napkin keeps the shape of the glass, so they don't know anything has happened yet. You say, oh, I can't seem to make the coin disappear. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make the glass disappear. And you put your hand above the napkin, and you just do this. Here are a few tricky tips for you. Now, the first thing is this. When you wrap the glass with the napkin and you're just about to count from one to three. You want to make sure that you always bring the glass to the edge of the table. This way your friends won't suspect anything at all. So you go one, two, three, and each time it's always the same so that when you do drop the glass, it's not suspicious. The other thing that you've got to be aware of is when you do drop the glass into your lap, not to hold the napkin too high, because your friends will see that the glass has already gone. 
Well, there you have it. You now know the secret to the disappearing glass. And you are now in the secret circle. As a magician, sooner or later, you have to do a death-defying trick and take your life into your own hands. Well, that day for me has now come. But I'm not nervous or anything. Ooh. Now, we're in a museum, which is an ideal setting for this ancient-looking and very dangerous piece of equipment. This is called the Table of Death. And up until someone did it and had an accident, it was the table. <laughs> I'm only joking. Now, to ensure that we're not going to use any camera tricks or anything like that, um, I brought some friends along. Come over this side, guys. Are you all all right? Yes! Good stuff. Now, they're going to be watching it from behind and in front, OK? They will see exactly what you will see, I promise. Now, can I just squeeze in here? In a second, they're going to strap me up. My hands will be strapped here and here. My body and legs will be chained there and there. Now, this is 500 pounds of solid metal spikes. Over there, come and have a look. We've got a countdown clock, and it's going to start on 60 seconds. Now, I have to escape from the chains and the straps before the clock hits zero. Otherwise, all of the spikes will come crashing down onto the table where I am. Now, Danny, this is a friend of mine, imagine the melon is my head, OK? As soon as the clock hits zero, then the spikes do this. <laughs> exactly. Now let's reset the spikes, just like that. And we can remove the melon, Danny. Thank you very much. I think we're ready to do it. OK. Are you ready? Yes! Then let's go. OK. Get into position, guys. Right, I'll strap my hands up first. Really tight. As tight as you can. Ah. You are right? Yep. Good. Ah, all right. Oh, steady on. OK, is that one done? Yes. Good. OK, definitely secure. Now, if you change my body. Oh. Yeah, is it secure? OK. Different. Yeah, OK. And now my feet. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, really tight. Good. Now, if you can stand by the clock, because I need you to keep me up to date on how I'm doing. Okay. Good. Danny, we close up the curtains. Hopefully, I'll see you in a minute. Thank you. No, wait, wait! It's dark in here. <laughs> Stop the clock! Oh. Let me just say something very quickly. This show is called Tricky TV. This is one very cool trick, but it is a trick. So don't try anything like this at home. Whew. Next time on Tricky TV, see things get sticky in our tricky wicked wind up in the sweet shop. We attempt to turn these boys into something completely different, girls. 
And check this out. <laughs> Will Joe Pasquale survive our crazy version of Russian roulette rat traps? <laughs> Yes, that is all coming up next time. It's looking like a great show. Now, let me just quickly remind you, please don't try any escapes at home. Leave them to professionals like myself. But now, let's take a look. Please don't let them see it. Please, Keith, come back in. Uh, let's take a look at some of the bits that didn't go according to plan. I need a key. <laughs> I'm not trying again. Play the outtakes. Nothing there, apart from a dangling fridge. <laughs> I'm going to try a dangerous trick. <laughs> now. Oh. <laughs> Do you want the fit to be as well? Okay, it's not mine. It's Steve's director. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>